Hey there, good morning. Welcome to Coaching with Connie. I'm Connie Fuchsa. How is everyone today? I know that everybody's pretty stressed over all of these different things that are happening, but you know, try to stay fresh, try to stay on top of things, look at what's going on around you, and definitely tune in when good information is coming to you on the internet. So I hope you guys are, are doing okay. It is Friday and hopefully you'll have a fun plan for the weekend. Keep getting out there and making your plans, looking at what's gonna happen for the next week so you have things to look forward to and let's talk about it. So welcome, thank you so much for tuning in to Coaching with Connie. Um, I really appreciate your time. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate it. And if you guys have been watching, I've been talking to um, other entrepreneurs that can share information with us that are really being helpful they're either people who run a business or they're people who run their own solo business and I like to call them solopreneurs. And so I share a lot of this stuff, one, because these are some pretty amazing people that um, decided, you know, saw an opportunity and decided to take advantage of it and have gone through a lot of ups and downs and bumps and have figured out how to navigate through it. So um, I like to share this stuff for this exact reason because I want you guys to understand that there's people out there just like you that are doing this and having the same struggles. But today I have been working um, with mostly this. I'm a little bit off today because I'm trying to work out a little bit of mechanics for the moment. Sorry about that which shows you this is never perfect, um, but I like to share information with you guys. So today I wanna to talk about not the solopreneur, but the, guy, the person, the guy or gal who is running a business, whether it's one team member or 5,000 team members, it's uh, the concepts all the same. And right now I feel like this is crucial. You know, I usually talk to just small business owners or individual solopreneurs, but today I wanted to talk to the person who has team, has a team. And first of all, let's qualify your team. Your team is not necessarily just someone who works for you, sits at a desk in your office and that you write a paycheck to. That your team is also the people that surround you, that make sure that you're lifted up, that you're doing things um, that are successful, that you're positive, that you're, you keep moving forward, um, they give you great ideas, they keep you grounded. So your team is a lot of people, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but first what I really wanted to talk about today is your team members and how you're taking care of them. You know, I, I come to you from a place of understanding because I owned my own business for more than 30 years where I had a team as small as one person and as large as 15 at one point. And so, um, and I want you to understand that, that I had, a, I was very lucky, I had a very loyal team, but I learned early on how to take care of them and what my business was all about. Because let me tell you something, guys, if you're in any type of a service business, if you're not addressing your team as the most important part of your business, then your business will never survive because your team are direct reflection of you. And you know, you may run a um, real estate business, you may run a mortgage company, you may run a car repair shop, you may run a daycare system where you have different people that work for you. If you're not um, helping those people understand and taking care of those people that work for you or around you as if they are the most important part of your business, they're not gonna be there taking care of your business for you. So here's a couple of things I wanna share with you. I mean, obviously paycheck is important. Being loyal is important. Giving people voices is important. Giving them information, not barking at them when they don't do things the way you want them to, having conversation. When things don't go exactly like you want it to go, you need to have conversation because just like with your children, there always is an answer that, well, most of the time, there's an answer that you maybe didn't think about. So it's worth having the discussion to understand why things happen the way they do. And if something isn't happening the way you want it to, having a discussion is really important. Give them the, the opportunity to respond to why something happened a certain way. Now, you made rules, you want things to happen a certain way because that's how you run your business, but you need to teach them that in a way that they'll be able to consume it and, may and retain it and be able to exude it to your customers. Because you may think your customers are the most important part of your business, and you won't have any customers if you don't have a team that's loyal to you, that um, does things the way that you want them to, that respects you, and 
respects the way you do business. So I want you to look at those people that surround you, particularly right now when things are so tough. If you're a small business owner, right now things are so tough because you're trying to figure out how to pay your employees, you're trying to figure out how to keep business coming in the door, and you're trying to figure out, should I lay people off? Should How do I take care of their families? You're very responsible and it's really a tough call right now. So what's the best way you can take care of those people? So when this is all over, or when we start gradually going back into business opening and some sense of normalcy, are you gonna have those people standing there ready, waiting to come back and help you? And do you have the loyalty of the community because you took care of your people, the people that have served and taken care of you and represented you for as long as you've been in business. And if you haven't been in business long or you haven't had employees that have represented you for a long time, then you're doing something wrong. I really want you to take a look at how you're taking care of those people and their families. Now I'm not saying, I mean, you don't have money because you have no business coming in. So I'm not saying, you know, you have to be in charge of making sure that all the paychecks come in and all of that, but help them navigate through what's going on. Help them understand that you're there trying to do whatever you can to make sure that their family survive this just like you're trying to make your your family survive this because your business is part of your family number one and those people are a direct representation of you so if you take care of those people and they respect and trust you then your business will succeed succeed again coming out of this and thrive without any problems whatsoever so i want you to think really hard about how you're taking care of those people that are around you and message me let's talk about it let's figure out some good strategies to make sure that you're handling those things in the right way we're not all we're not all perfect and we're not we're always going to make mistakes but it's how you take care of people that will be the recovery of the mistakes, of coming out of this, of not writing paychecks, of all of those things. So I really want you guys to think hard about those people that work for you. Even if they're seasonal employees, maybe they'll come back and forth. I have a really good friend that runs a car wash. I'm gonna tell you something, a lot of those kids that work at the car wash only work for him um, maybe one season and maybe only in the summer and they go to college, they come back and they work for him. But all the kids talk about working there because it's a great experience. Right? So he doesn't have longevity in his employees, but he has consistency, he has respect, he has people that want to come back and work for him. And because of it, he has all the parents as business, um, as, as customers, as business for his business. And he has all those, those people's friends, he has all the kids, he has all of uh, their friends. So this is the kind of thing I want you to understand and, and respect those people that right now are in your trust. And that the people that you are working for you are the people that are gonna take care of your business. So make sure you're taking care of those people. Your team is the most important part of your business and I would love to talk to you a little bit more about it if you wanna reach out, let's talk about it. If you want some more information, some free things to download, you wanna start doing live videos and you're just not sure how to get started, there's a free resource on my website, ConnieFuchsa.com. There's also plenty of other resources and things that'll give you information, links that you guys can poke around a little bit and it will help you stay live or get information if you sign up for our subscription. I promise not to spam you, but you'll get information that you can't always get as we're doing live videos. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for tuning into Coaching with Connie. I'm getting ready to go live with one of the entrepreneurs that I really can't wait for you guys to meet on my entrepreneurial live series. So check it out and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in. I'm, Con ah, I'm Connie Fuchsa. Thanks for tuning into Coaching with Connie. Bye-bye.